Right, let's also talk about, let's also quickly talk about what majority of the bards make mistakes on. That's a good, that's a good topic to do. I actually wanted to talk about this topic as well, because I play bard wrong too. Like sometimes I play it really wrong. Oh, my VOD, okay. <laughs> oh no! Oh, he's gonna say I fucked up! He's gotta say I fucked up, guys! I'm getting called out! Oh my god, you have to play the song too. Ah, oh my god. So what he has said is, in this point of view, uh, I have to tell them that I only have two bubble, don't use skills yet until I have three. Or use two bubbles. Oh shit. So basically, I use my three bubble when every DPS class has already rotated their skills. So I, uh, so I wasted three bubbles technically, even though I used it. Oh shit. I got called out, dude! Alright, so the Swiftness Bard is fine because they have a really good uptime. But for Spec Bard, these kind of situations need to be very important uh, because it will cause like the Raid Wipe and stuff. Uh, you guys kept hearing, you know, Saint like igniting and, you know, uh, Lost Boy said, do you, have, do you have igniter? Like that kind of stuff, right? What's important is, apparently most of the time he has 2.8 or 2.9. Saint has an ignition ready. Um, and, and vice versa. So it needs a lot of communication to sync it up properly so that uh, it's a uh, proper uh, efficiency. Man, wait a minute. I, it also says on the chat on the VOD that you said, they said Lost Boy teach him the ways. Oh my God. I fucked up, dude. <sighs> I got Rip Bozo, the boys. Rip Bozo. I mean, this is what happens if you play Swiftness Bard, guys. And then you play Spec Bard. It's hard. It's hard stuff. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have issue uh, clearing the raid, not doing that. But if I wanted to give proper buff, uh, that is what it is. So uh, I think the point of this was when you have 2.8 bubbles, very important. If, if you have 2.8 bubbles, when you have a time where you think your DPS is going to rotate your major skills, you just have to use two bubbles. You just have to to uh, provide the damage buffs accordingly because if you try to go like, oh, I just need a little bit more skills to do gold three bubble. That's what I did here. By the time I did that, the problem was it was already too late. They already rotated their skills. <laughs> they have to wait for their cooldown while they have a fucking three bubble in. You know what I mean? This is the, the stuff that you should not do as a bard. Oh, he wants to show you something about the, the Sorks position. Oh, Sorks POV, holy. So basically what he's trying to explain is, you know, the Sorcerer's players, you guys notice the, you know, when you do the Doomsday, they turn on, like, for example, Saint, right? Uh, he, he casts the Doomsday, and while the Doomsday is landing, you, you cast ign Ignition so that the Ignition increased damage is affected by the Doomsday, right? In order for the 15 second 3 bubble to be efficient and land on both Doomsdays, you use 3 bubble when you see the animation that you're igniting. So he showed you the ignition uh, animation, right? There was like a, a diamond showing up and then he just puts it, he just breaks it, right? After seeing that, he puts a double, uh, he puts a 3 bubble in. The sorceress can have a guaranteed 2 Doomsday landing with the 3 bubbles applied in. That's a big difference because Doomsday it, it does one of the skill that does the most damage, right? If you have the three bubbles on both of them, you, you did most of your job. So, wow. You can get both of the Doomsdays to get the three bubble buff. Uh, and he's been doing that with Saint the whole time. Wow. Holy shit, there are multiple ways to figure out what your party mates are actually doing. To give you an additional thing. Like Surge Blades. Surge Blades, uh... They can rotate one burst skill within 15 seconds. The 20 stack, the 20 stack surge, right? Surge blades. Um, so that one is a little bit easier to put the three bubble in. But to explain to you guys again about the ignition sorceress, what he actually does is, when Saint's ignition's ready, he looks at the ignition animation and then put it the three bubble on top of that, so that two doomsdays can have three bubble effect on it. That's actually, that's actually two doomsdays instead of one doomsday having the buff applied. So it's a very tight timing. That's why that those are the timings that you should be aiming for to get the three bubble if you have a, a Sork friend that is playing with you. Wow, no wonder Saint did shit ton of damage. <laughs> All of his skills had three bubbles. <laughs> Holy shit! So but you guys can do it too. You guys can do it too. He's teaching you the tricks. He taught you the tricks. 
연습하시면 누구나 할수 있어요. 엄청 mm. 어렵지 않아요. Yeah, he said it's not hard. Anyone can practice. Anyone can master it. 그리고 아 그리고 그 모션 보고 쓰는 게 연습이 좀 필요한 이유가. Right. So you need to listen to the motion and the sound cue to make sure you provide the three bubble accordingly, or put the party effect on, right? 너무 어지러워서 저는 끌고 가는 mm -hmm. 편이에요. Right. The party effect's gonna make you confusing, but the point is to uh, provide the bubbles. At the at the important skills that they put in, dude. I didn't know. I mean, I, uh, supports will need to look at the players' animations too, huh? That's crazy. I mean, as for certain things, and the and the topic that we didn't really talk about uh, that he said was as for uh, someone like Benji, right? Benji is a sophist. Um, you provide buffs this way. So when when Benji turns into hype three, the party UI gives it a different icon, right? So you kind of look at that icon, and when it switches, you provide the buff. So there are multiple ways to provide buffs at the right time without proper like communicating is also good, but communication may have been like let's say oh I have three bubble on and then they go like oh I'm not ready I'm not ready that kind of stuff right it's really tricky to do it but if you do it it's like it provides better buffs to, for everyone you know yeah communication으로 yeah. 하면은 좋긴 한데 so another tip is when you're communicating with patterns I'm pretty sure you guys are doing this already uh, for some of you guys who are communicating by voice chat is. You don't say, oh, I'm gonna ignite, oh, I'm gonna three bubble, right? You kind of say it in advance, as in, you know, with, let's do that next pattern, or you have just enough time to prepare and then sync, sync accordingly, if that makes sense. Because if you say that I'm going to three bubble, you're already too, like DPS is already too late. What if they're, what if they're major skills on cooldown? <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> He's calling me out! <laughs> He's calling me out! Every time I have three bubble, I go, I have three bubble! I just like yell it. But by the time I yell three bubble and give three bubble, they're already done rotating their skills, so I'm just giving it to nothing. <laughs> Voice call is on, but who Look at party, look at party mates animation, look at party mates UI. That's crazy, because you have to dodge the boss's patterns too. So it's a little tough. It's tough. Wait a minute, this is the clip. Holy! Yeah, so look at that. You guys saw. You guys saw the. Okay, so this is a good example. Look at this. So Lust Boy. So he he casted his Debussy, and then he got a he got a three bubble right away after that. So he got this. So he has oh he has like fourteen seconds on top of this to cast another Doomsday because his Doomsday cooldown is eleven. Does that make sense? You can still sync it up with Swift Bar too, right? Right, Lost yeah, Boy though? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so if you play Swift Bar, same thing. If you have the three bubble, the three bubble is one of the most damage boosting thing that you need to utilize. If that is the case, why not Why not use it when your DPS uh, classes is having the most DPS, right? Nice. I mean, I think that's great. Uh, uh, it's a great tip. Is there anything else? Time sensitive on classes or right. time sensitive classes. And you know, uh, for example, again, let's talk about surge build a little bit. You know, they utilize the bubble and then they surge anyways. So within a boss's pattern, when you think that they're planning to do the surge, uh, you utilize the buffs accordingly so that they can have the maximum uh, surge damage. What about the? I actually wanted to ask something. What about artillerist? Blaster는 이제 휠체어랑 그냥 블레랑 두개 있는데. The wheelchair, the wheelchair one, the wine blue one. Because <laughs> I always uh, try to sync with wine blue, but I can't. It's too hard. <laughs> I don't know uh, when yeah. he gets in his chair. Lady, 들어가면은 한 파티에 네 명이잖아요. So it's a, it's a good topic actually because uh because I was I was I was considering myself as well because you know when I play with wine blue I try to do uh try to sync bubbles and stuff right. So what's important is in this game you have a party of four. Uh, let's disregard the bard because bards are support. You have three DPS classes. Spec Bard is so concentrated on picking uh, DPS classes. It is important to, you know, you can't care everyone, if that makes sense. So in our Akam party, it was me, Zeos, uh, Saint, and then Lost Boy, right? I was out of the picture for the three bubble is because I was a Gunlancer, and then Gunlancer, I was just there for utility, plus like giving synergy and all that stuff, right? So with that being said, so I he, Lost Boy doesn't need to match bubbles on me. Lost Boy needed to match what was on Saint because of the, the double Doomsday. And at the same time, Zeus was doing a consistent damage, so he was just taking advantage of it while the rotation is happening. So I asked him a question about, oh, what about Artillerist, right? What about Wine Blue's uh, wheelchair, uh, wheelchair Artillerist, right? 
when you get on the barrage mode. So apparently barrage transformation is faster than 3 bubble, as in by the time uh, Wine Blue transforms and pr proceeds to do his damage on barrage mode, you won't be able to get 3 bubbles, you have to about 2, 2 or like 2, a little bit above 2. So you have to do 2 bubble um, synergy with the barrage build uh, instead of 3. Or you can actually wait on the 3 bubble and have him uh, get on the barrage mode a little later, uh, like after I fill up 3 bubble. You could do it that way as well. But to make it to make him have the buff efficiency every time he gets on the barrage mode, he will need to be rotated to bubbles. Uh, and then we're talking about this is because uh, how, like how much efficiency does this actually bring, right? Because three bubble versus uh, two bubbles, etc. But you know when you have a specific class, you have to understand which DPS class you're playing with, and which point, which pinpoint uh, situation does that DPS class does the most damage. And you provide the buffs accordingly on top of that. Uh, skipping it is bad, so you have to sync it every time. So in DPS classes, they have a time of. Uh, to summarize it again, that the DPS type, uh, the DPS classes have windows of timings that they have a lot of damage. Ignition sources, the igniter mode, that kind of stuff. You need to sync the bubbles accordingly, and it's this is different per classes too. So you probably have to communicate uh, as much as you can and kind of learn about the class as well to provide the buffs uh, at the right time. 이 버프를 터는 거에 대해서 그 멘탈 블럭 있는 분들의 생각보다 많거든요, 바르들이. Yep, I do. <laughs> he said that yeah, the two bubble is not as bad as you think, and then he said some some bards have like a a very OCD of I must give three bubble, right? Uh, that's me too. I I I thought you you're supposed to only give three bubbles, but apparently it's not. <laughs> 이 버프를 터는 것도 되게 좋으니까 그냥 그 조합이나 상황 따라서 이 버프도 그 과감하게 터시면 되게 좋을 거예요. Right, so what is important for you to think about is if you have two bubbles and then if you think that this is a very uh, this is a good DPS time, you need to aggressively aggressively just buff two bubbles uh, to actually squeeze in that DPS in uh, when it's important. 이 버블 나온 김에 말씀드리면은 그 제가 만약에 질서님이랑만 같은 파티를 한다고 치면은 아, uh, so for example, let's say Lost Boy is is playing with Zeos and me. Uh, and another DPS that he doesn't need to care as much as a spec bard, it is actually better for Lost Boy to rotate two bubbles than 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 waiting for three because rotating two 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 on a on a class that has a faster rotation, Zeus has a faster rotation, right? Because he's a war dancer, it it adds up, it snowballs up. Uh, so the total amount of damage done within a long period of time is much higher by rotating just three. Because uh, Zeus's War Dancer class is a consistent DPS and his rotations are much faster. Therefore, if he has two bubbles more often, it just adds up. Yeah, it makes sense. I, I, I did well again. I didn't know as much because all I do is uh, yeah, I'm not as uh, you know. A lot of bar uh, guys, you should guys should be surprised. A lot of bards don't know what they're doing, and it's including me. Uh, when I play the Swiftness Bard, I just go full Pepega, right? And then I, I, I give him three a three bubble, and I hope that these guys are using their main skills when I just do the three bubble. But majority of the time, they're all on cooldown. <laughs> DPS 안 키우는 바르들한테 되게 많은 문제 중 하나거든요. 자기 로스터에 그 서포트밖에 없고 딜러들이 없는 분들 가끔 있잖아요. Uh, no, no, no DPS in their roster. Yep. 서포트하는 거를 즐겨하시는 분들. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is so for someone that doesn't have a DPS in their roster. That only plays support. It's a critical. Is it a critical problem, Lust Boy? Oh, 네, 되게 큰 문제 중 하나죠. Oh, it's a critical problem, boys. Gotta make those DPS classes support enjoyers. 볼 때마다 가끔씩 화가 나기도 해요. He said he gets angry when he sees it sometimes. I wonder what it is. It must be me. Is it me again? 아 아니 아니야. 아닌가? <laughs> oh, he said I, I may have done it. God damn it. <laughs> I like the sound. <laughs> okay, the counter is on. Wait, I do that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Again, shit! Oh! But I DPS when I counter. 
Oh, maybe because I, I play a transforming class. Let me explain it again. So if you go back, if you go back a little bit, Lost Boy. Don't get mad at me too much, Lost Boy. Don't get mad at me. Okay. So you notice the, the pattern. So what she does is she does a counter pattern after five stacks of normal attacks. Right? So she goes to counter mode, right? This is a counter pattern, guys. When it does a counter pattern, majority of the DPS classes already burst at that state because you know you're safe. Right? Like just like the sharpshooter, you see him uh you see him using his skill while he's uh doing the thing. But uh only support enjoyers they provide a buff after the counter has been hit, which usually uh after the bursts. That that gets him mad, but I do that sometimes. And the reason why is I think it's because I literally play Gunslinger, Shadow Hunter, and Scouter that just goes full Pepega every time. Right. His snipe is already done. So after counter, he has nothing. Oh, right. Yeah, he's he's yeah, he's gathering his identity gate. So this means I already I gave him a bubble after the counter. This means this sharpshooter didn't do any damage. No buffs. Oh, uh, right, right. So I gave him a buff for building his identity gauge. I went full Pepega support. Literally full Pepega. <laughs> oh, no! Chat, don't make the same mistake as me, okay? So what's important here that we learned is if there are time-sensitive DPS classes, just like Ignition, Ignition Sorceress, you know, the Barrage Artillerist, got Soul Fist, you got Surge Blade. The time sensitive uh, burst classes, you match their animations, you match your cues, etc. That that kind of stuff, you can do that. But if if there are DPS classes that doesn't meet meet that criteria, uh, you provide it based on pattern. Whereas uh, if you think that this particular boss pattern is is doing an easy pattern, 99% of the DPS classes will do will use their major skill if you know that you're safe, right? So you provide it based on the pattern that he does because you will know that they will use their main skills anyway. So I think that's a very important thing uh, to think about when you're choosing your three bubble buffs. Another mistake that people who don't have DPS in their roster. Man, I gotta get shit on. I played for so long and I don't know any of this shit. I gotta get called out every. I gotta get called out. Hello, guys. Oh shit. <laughs> 근데 스쿼아 파트는 되게 조심해야 되는 게 쿨타임이 좀 길다 보니까 제, 제 거가 22초니까. So to review what he has said, let's say for Vikas one, right? Vikas gate, gate one, guys, where you have the rotating balls, uh, for the colors, and when you succeed that gimmick, boss becomes staggered for seven seconds, right? If you use Guardian Tune on that 7 seconds, you're wasting that Guardian Tune. If you're playing a Spec Bard, you have 22 seconds. You basically wasted your Guardian Tune, and then you have to wait an additional 15 seconds on top of that. Imagine if he uses a big skill and it's gonna kill your teammate. It's because you probably used the Guardian Tune at the wrong time. So those kind of stuff is very straightforward, but even though it's very straightforward, so many people make mistakes and just keep using the Guardian Tunes at the wrong time. So it's not just buffs, but just but the support buffs, the, the, the care, the defensive buffs as well. The right timing is very important. Mm. I think we covered everything. We covered a lot of stuff, guys. We covered a lot of stuff. I learned a lot of stuff myself. I, I don't know if you guys learned as much as I did, uh, but... Um, Realized I was a really bad bard. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I just go full Pepega spam skills, dude. Uh, but if you guys are serious, serious to giving the good stuff, the good buffs, right? The big buffs. Um, these are the tricks that you can need to, uh, that you should need to learn.